hard. You know, it's 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 a tough fold. And I think that, you know, the the way that people you know respond to the to the not knowing of poker is they make calls when they probably shouldn't. <sighs> we'll make the fold. Here. And what's up, Pippin? We got Pippin in the stream. Good to see you, man. Pippin eighty seven. Hope your Easter Sunday is going well. So kiss my ass, sob. Making the shove there for what eight bigs? Getting through. Got a strong hand here, thirty three hundred. Yeah, there's going to be certain three bets here that we're going to just have to play strong against. Little ace jack off suit. Okay. It's going to be a call from a sex gym poker shove. It's going to be a call from a Kazwick's shove. <sighs> How about a Voff, Voff, Voff open? Make the call. Six three three. Ace Jack still figures to be ahead. <sighs> probably not. This is probably going to be a fold for us. I see bet's going to make me fold off, off, off. Instead, he checks back. Hmm. Um. No idea. I surrender. Off, off. Take it. Take it. Ace queens ahead, ace kings ahead. Does he uh, does he check back with those hands? Probably. He also probably checks back with hands like ace nine and ace eight, ace ten, firing out a quarter of the pot. Well, now we're not ahead of the ace er, of the uh, king queen. We're not ahead of the king jack anymore. We are ahead of the ace ten and the ace nine, and we're not chopping against those guys. Here he fires out one and a half times the pot. Weird amount there, bud. Who knows? Ace five, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you make? What do you make it twenty-one thousand into fourteen thousand pot for? I mean, it feels like he's digging for gold. Sex Jim Poker keeps on making this mistake of of raising when he's got like twelve big blinds and folding when someone makes the shove. I, I think it's. And you know, he just it keeps on putting himself in these spots where, you know, now at this point he's kind of put a target on his head. If 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 I'm you know Quaswix, I'm looking at uh, fold equity where there really shouldn't be any. I think you know to avoid that, you got 11 bigs, you got 12 bigs. Stop making normal raises and just make the shove. This is probably gonna do it. Kiss my ass is gonna did make the, the call uh, here with Ace did, Queen. Did the uh, stream drop again, or? Yeah, we had some dropped frames again. Oh, okay, so it's probably not the server. It's probably Twitch. Looks like uh, it dropped and then it's back on, so. Yeah, it dropped for 720 frames. They move you, yeah. It looks like they did move you. Yeah, hey, suicide point. bombshell. Good. Uh, thank He's you for close. the good luck and happy Easter to you too.
And Shriver making the shove. Nice trap there, B. Shriver. With a King Jack or an Ace 10. I think if Richard Parker has any pocket pair, he should probably be making this call. Okay, a little jack seven off. I think we're gonna go ahead and make the fold. Okay, Richard Parker making the raise. Guy Pie and Rhino. What do you guys do? Fold and fold? Nope, call. Okay. Pretty big pot there for nine eight. Yeah, I don't know what to do if you're a freezer there with any two cards, with bad two cards. I mean, he's getting uh, six to one to make the call. Plus, you've got the implied odds of, uh, of follow-up C-bets by MDX88. I kind of feel like maybe if I'm in freezer spot, I would put out 1,600 and just uh, hope for some magic. Uh, I mean, you're, just, you're getting such long you know, pot odds and implied odds. And sure, you got to worry about reverse implied odds, but... You know, it, it's kind of funny because in that kind of situation with freezer, you're almost better off having a hand like, uh, you know, having a hand like five three than you would like a hand like a king three, where you can hit, uh, you know, your your trip fives and you know that you're probably going to be good. You hit trip kings, maybe not. You know, I mean, like a hand like five three has uh, doesn't have the same kind of reverse implied odds problem as, uh, as a hand like king three does. But even so, it doesn't matter what you have. I think that if you're in freezer spot there and it goes a min raise and a call and you're in the uh, in the big blind with 15 bigs, that it's probably worth just putting out one of those big blinds and hoping for uh, hoping for some magic. It's a little different, you know. We're getting uh, less than four to one, and we've got the absolute just butt kiss hand. Let's go ahead and make the fold. So yeah, JD Cole coming out Sunday, April twenty fifth for uh, some WSP.com action. Oh, that's um, awesome! I think that that's probably going to be the last Sunday of the month. So instead of a two hundred dollar tournament, the uh, main tournament of the day is going to be a five hundred dollar tournament. That's right. Uh, then you got the Reloader, which you should plan on at least two hundred. So that's seven hundred. You got the thirty dollar six max, which is ninety. Uh, so that's 790. Then you got the $30 regular, so that's another 90. Uh, you're looking at, you know, you could you could end up blowing through 950 bucks, a thousand dollars. Come with ammo, or uh, or you could just you know play some of the. You could be a little bit more selective and not play everything. Uh, 
Okay, we got Richard Parker making a raise to 2x. Huh. Well, Quasic's making this very easy for us. Quasic's is a spewer. Quasic's is a spewer. So we've got a good position here. 7 out of 18, a little bit above the uh, middle of the pack, and we are closing in on that money bubble. Let's we'll start putting on some pressure. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Savannah. Hmm. King eight offsuit. I think if it's fold, it's, if it uh, folds to us, we'll go ahead and make a move against Shriver's big blind. But against Richard Parker's under the gun raise, I think I'll just make the fold. Keep on folding and folding and folding. So yeah, freezer toxic. Freezer is a uh, he's a pro. He's a pro. He definitely makes some uh, some moves that I don't love. But um, he's he's also making his living playing poker. So. There is that. We are gonna, like, take over the room. Big Dog, Big Dog 2000, 12 months in a row, One a whole year. year. Big Dog, Thank thanks you. so much, man, for keeping this stream alive and keeping it going. Really appreciate you sticking with us another month. And uh, thank you, man. I hope that you know. Oh, my gosh, look at this. We got a, a $20 donation from SD Bub, too. Still my favorite streamers. I count on you both for great content. Aww, <laughs> thank you, SD Bub. Thank you. Really appreciate that. You guys are the best. And uh, you know what? We'll keep, on, we'll keep on streaming as long as you guys are here. Morning, all, he says. Gosh, I feel like we've just been folding, folding, folding for the last, last two or three orbits. I do feel like the reloader is a little bit different than most tournaments, just because I, I think that uh, that these these kind of players are a little bit more willing to uh, to go broke and gamble it up around the bubble. Yeah, we get a nice hand now, a little ace queen off suit action. One of those treble hands, but a hand we are not shying away from. Making the raise. What do you guys think? How about you, Richard Parker? You're gonna fold your button. He does. Guy Pie folds. Rhino folds, and we're back up to fifty fifty two thousand. Nice job. We'll make the fold here against Freezer's ten big blinds. Poker Pete 555 says, Hey Dutch, do you ever experiment with really small bets or over bets to exploit opponent's known tendencies? Poker Pete, uh, yeah, definitely, especially live. It's a lot easier to do that live when you uh, when you know that the you know when, when you can get a better idea of how a person plays. And you know, they're you know, you, you can get better reads live. So I, I definitely will you know, if if I put a, a person on a very specific hand and know they're going to call a big bet. Uh, I'll definitely experiment with those bigger bets than uh, you know when when I have them beat and I want the call, or uh, you know smaller bets. You know when I have them crushed and I know that they're going to fold a certain bet, but maybe a smaller bet induces a certain play. Uh, sure, 
yes to all of uh, all of the above. But online, it's a little different. You know, online you're looking at, uh, you know, it, it's a lot less likely that you're going to be able to have a, a perfect read on somebody. <sighs> probably make the fold there. So Rhino knocks out Freezer, King Jack versus the Pocket Tens, and uh, that was all pre-flop, so it was definitely a coin flop, you know, a coin flip. And then uh, on the flop, Rhino actually hits his set, but it was not the the best. Uh, you know the best flop for Rhino. He hits a set, and uh, Freezer still has that uh, open-ended straight draw. Down to 15 players, guys. So the majority of us at this point are going to hit the money, uh, but it's still so top-heavy. You know, 10th place, $332. First place, 4,000. So more than 10 times uh, the value of getting first, as opposed to uh, just sliding into the money. Making the fold here against Quaswix. Such a spewer. And we got Pocket Jacks versus the Ace King suited. Crazy flop for Guy Pie. Can he hit it? And it looks like Quaswix uh, gets a little bit richer, and Guy Pie is our 15th place finisher. We're down to 14, guys. 14 players. Little 10 5 off suit. And 16, 17 big blinds in the uh, 17 and a half big blinds for MDX. We're sitting here with 25, 24 and a half. Richard Parker making the min raise all step out. So here's the money bubble, $332, 10 places pay. We're down to 14 places. And we're right in the middle of the pack with 40, uh, 48,000. Seventh place. Dirty, Dirty blank biscuit. biscuits. That was a Dirty blanket. biscuit, man. Great to have you here. Thank you very much for the sub. Dirty really biscuits. appreciate that. Welcome to the crew. Brand new sub. And uh, what do you get as a brand new sub subscriber to the stream? You get uh, you get one of these, a download book, a download link to uh, Poker Tilt, and you get a couple of these fist bump patches. Yeah, a digital copy, not the actual physical book. <laughs> and you get uh, patches. So awesome. <sighs> I feel like Dirty Biscuit has been around for a while. We appreciate that sub, man. You were awesome sauce for the biscuits. Pocket queens. Uh oh. You have queens? Yeah. Oh wow. Go for that two point five X raise. The ladies. Calling any. I can see Richard Parker having jacks here and putting me to the test. Tens here, putting me to the test. Kings are aces and deciding to put me to the test. <laughs> okay, a 956 and pocket queens is still ahead. That's actually a pretty good flop if he has something like uh, pocket tens. Richard Parker, thinking about it, thinking about it, finding the fold button. That puts us up into uh, sixth place territory. And when it rains, it pours. First we get the pocket queens, now we get the pocket twos. No and make the raise. Though, huh? it's one step above aces. <laughs> That's right. And we're up to seventy thousand. Oh. 
Hmm. <laughs> three hands in a row. Are we going to do three hands in a row, guys? I think I'm going to make the fold here. Uh, Flatty sent you on Facebook. He wishes that he could show it to everyone. I don't know what he exactly he showed it to you. So. Okay. You might want to have. I'm a little worried. I'll go check it out. <laughs> And uh, Broke Runner is a big fan here. He's watching you on Please don't be a dick pic. There. Please don't be a dick pic. <laughs> what are we looking at? It's Flatty? a dick pic. God damn it. It oh, is? It's a dick pic. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> he wishes he could show everybody. So. <laughs> get the $2,000 curve monitors that, you know, are a necessity. This is fucked because this guy's a maniac. I'm gonna go ahead and call. The nine comes off. He checks. I gotta believe he's got a flush draw. If he has an overpair, he's gonna bust me every time, but I don't think I can fold ever. I think this bet says that. I think that maybe he thinks I'm full of shit. He's calling me. I think he just said something like he's king, he's queen. If he has, he'd be, that's fine. He had quad nines. What the fuck? <laughs> So, so I get busted out by quads. Literally the only hand I'm worried about. And to this guy troll who's just insane. Eh. So, <laughs> and to this guy troll who's just insane. So that was uh, <laughs> that, is that was troll. Flatty busting out uh, flip a a a a from uh, it looks like a final table. Aww. With uh, quad nines against uh, flip a a a a's pocket tens oh, on a man. nine 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 board oh damn so uh nice hand there flatty D- nice hand troll. <laughs> <laughs> and this insane. guy troll he's just crazy this guy flatty he's just crazy crazy player nice hand there next time you, next time you got to remember that like you can't just do that to the phone oh did he yeah so i'm sitting here like oh. giving myself uh Neck. A uh, stiff neck here. Okay, MDX88. I will make the call. I don't love it. Ace4 has uh, has some problems. We've got some problems. Like, what do we do if we hit the ace? But we're making the call. A little 966 action. Um, I guess we're just done with the hand. Huh, interesting. So it fires out 4,800. Gosh, that makes me very tempted to check raise. Uh, I feel like I've just been playing on uh, playing on my belly, you guys. I feel like I've just been sitting on my hands this whole tournament. Down to 13 players now. Three of us are uh, not going to make the money. Uh, MDX88, how about you? Making that raise. We'll see if MDX88 decides to fire off. Down to 12 now. He makes the fold. Are you still dropping frames? Um, yeah, we dropped some frames. We were dropping frames. I think we'll make the fold against Quasbisks. MDX88 putting him to the test. I guess we're rooting for uh, rooting for a call from one of them. <laughs> 